Well, this is definitely a different vista than usual. I've got uh, memory boards and plaques up for what looks like, yeah, casino. A wee bit before my time, as I'm a, being a product of the late 80s, obviously, is uh, way beyond my time. And I didn't even live here up until, what, end of 2018, so didn't really know much of this. I heard bits of it and saw little bits and stuff like that from like family members that lived up here and other people that knew stuff but this was uh, definitely before my time which is a shame because it sounds like it was an absolute belt in time which by the way it's in near Moon near the old marble area with two in back Friday's so it's all over there let's flip that around let's uh, get started with the normal programming shall we so good morning good afternoon Good evening, wherever the fluff you are. And welcome to what is the catch up of the demolition site. Hands, 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 hands. Sorry. I know some people don't like the comedy act <laughs> efforts and the, the stupid voices. But hey, that's just me. Anyway, there's no need to go pause right now since I'm walking. Man, I'm not strong. I smell tobacco smoke when you used to be a smoker. Jeez, that doesn't have burnt, burnt nostrils. Anyway, let's uh, give thee a look. What's going on through all? There we go. Not much has happened over there. And I can't hear him moving, so I suspect that they're either on an early lunch or they're just on a very slow day or they're doing something. I don't know, but whatever. Not much has really happened over here. I can't really hear much because, well, I can't tell what's moving, whether it's just an air conditioning unit or something that deliveries further back, clattering or what, but there's something, something's moving, but I know it's not going from down there. Anyway, pause. Well, it looks like uh, something's been moved on here. It's uh, been taken on. That's all been uh, turned into what looks like a bit of a uh, space to do with casino so that would be what's going on up at the top so yeah i might have a look in there in a bit once i'm done with this oh and uh <laughs> by the looks of what i can spot right over here with a void some of the scaffs come down meaning some of that facing has come down which wow that wall is very clean <laughs> let's give you a bit of zoom in on that wall that's quite clean so yeah, that has come down quite quite quickly and that was also a very clean separation. Which to be honest, the way that that looks like on the roof lining where you can see the edging of what will probably be like the lead flashings. Also that was actually designed to come away very well, unlike further up the other end. Which obviously we've still got that place empty and everyone knows of the demise of Wilco's nationally, which we can't really escape, but trees suffered a bit of damage probably in the winds that we've had recently. But that is pretty clean on the separation lines. Yeah, so either that's from the previous structure that was there before all of this was in, or that was part of the design for it to come away very cleanly and very nicely without disrupting any of the other buildings unlike further up there now no doubt Tony will have mentioned quite a lot about Wilco's so I ain't gonna go on about it <clears throat> on about anything to do with Wilco's or anything like that let's just get on with the rest of it anyway pause well now that is a huge, huge difference. It's like, man, how much has gone since the last time I was here? 
and a lot. <laughs> wow. This is uh, definitely beyond. Well, some of them have started moving now. But what was quite a nice, neat area has now become a new marvellous mound of muck. Play the clock again. Bit of recycling stuff there. Looks like what? Either that's air conduct in a round form, or that's like a um, you know, barrier internal like you know walkway and stuff. And obviously you can see over there and everything. That is not going to last very long at this rate with the speed that that's coming down at. My God. This is something else, I'm saying that. This is definitely something else. Oop. You can hear that echoing. You got one of their um, like pneumatic or hydraulic, uh, like pecker thumper, like you know, destructor hammer things going on, which is amazing. So cool. Just to see this lot come down is amazing, but also it's kind of a shame because, as I've said many, many, many times, I knew this place the, since the 90s because, well, obviously, you know, when family members live up this way, they'll come in here. So, how I always used to remember it and know it. Can't really see anything because there's not much to be seen. But hey, whatever. Just how it is. Anyway. Get this bit out of the way since I know some of you will probably be wondering why I haven't mentioned it yet. I did in an earlier take but I got disturbed by quite a few people. So um, I'm going to uh, just do this one. So, as a reshoot, congratulations to Warriors on getting the League Leader Shield. Now on to the semis, which is going to be a bit of a challenge for everyone involved. Cat Cat Catalans to get to the grand final because, well, the, the second they're gonna, you know, they get a home semi as well, same as Wigan. Got away to Perpignan, any team is gonna be struggling there. You can't count out Saints, even though, yes, I'm a Wigan fan, and saying that does hurt. But you can't count out Saints because they're a threat as always. They've won it, what, the past, they've won the league the past four years in a row, or whatever, like three, four years in a row. My maths doesn't work very well, sorry. You know, Lee, they look like they're going to be a bit of a challenge. Especially if they get up for it like they did against Wigan and pop some surprises to get to the final. Like they did to get to um, you know, the Challenge Cup final. Hull KR, they could be a bloody good challenge because, um, well, obviously you can't really count them out because they could be a dark horse. Wire, uh, their recent form hasn't exactly been, um, you know, like barnstorming and barn burners, but, you know, they could easily get one with the way it is because as has been mentioned by a few other people Saints haven't beaten Wire in a playoff for a long time so that could be that but anyone going away to Perpignan is going to have one heck of a challenge now to me can I actually get to any of the games there's a chance I can get to either the semi or the final Depending on if we get there anyway. But for the semi, yes, I could probably get there because it does look like it's a Saturday. I just have to work that one out. Whether I'm actually busy on that day or not, I do not know. Because that is after my course is finished. But I could still probably get there. Um, as for the final, that will be a bit of a doozy. Well, it's not going to be too easy, but it's going to be uh, a bit of fun whilst I've uh, got time to. Because I might do that because I've never been to a grand final. So I might do that. There is a slim possibility I could do both. But it's going to be a challenge. But hey, that's just the way it is with that. And everything else. And I've just noticed there'd be a sinkhole. Something's collapsed. Has this been sagging for a while or has it just gone? <laughs> Well, when did it go? Because I didn't know it was it last week. Or if I did, I'm blind. But, you know, 
didn't really notice it, but still no clear onto this. Because this was supposed to have been used by stallholders, shop owners in the areas or whatever, but still, still just sight, which I think might have just been uh, moved on. But anyway, pause. Well, the mystery of what was making the noise. Right there, it looks like there's a big like, roof and floor slab that they're uh, chipping away at with that thing, with that big hydraulic or pneumatic, whatever you want to call it. Like, you know, big hammer breaker thing. And the uh, smell of fresh tar is permeating and uh, hitting my nostrils right now. My god, that's. Uh, come down quite a fair way which looks like they are making their way very quickly down here obviously we've still got some of the trenchings and holes here for services and stuff but wow but when that thing came down that must have made uh, one heck of a noise See if I can just See what's going on. Wow. But to be this close to all of this because the boarding is supposed to be out here. But wow. Obviously like the Morrisons of food store or whatever, that ain't gonna be long. Everything that's up there is just decimated. It's just like oh my wow. There's a lot of dust being kicked up, but you know, I suppose they can't really help that. But where well, the sticky outy bit was, which had the like the pylons and poles, and posts, that's all gone. So, well, my memory turns around, I'm not quite sure whether it was the pound land or something else over there. Because the like, pound land was down this side, can't really put it in that Like I said, my memory is a bit, uh, a bit poof. But, Wow. Fortunately, I can't see much. It would be nice if we could cut some portals in so we could see a bit more. But hey, that's open. That's fine. Okay, so that's a. Yes, you're going to have to get down there by that big thing. Is there something new past that? Wow. That is that is some work. Anyway, this lot behind me I will sign out. I won't do my long windy one, I'll just say goodbye!